Hi, thanks for watching this video update on the Open Hand project. And in this video, I wanted to show you the latest version of the Dexterous Robotic Hand. And this is a bit smaller, a bit lighter, and cheaper than the previous versions that you've seen. And in this video, I'll also show you everything working together. So we've seen the different components separately with the, the sensors and the electrodes and the muscle readings and the hand, but now I've put it all together so it all works at the same time. The black coating that you can see on the hand is Plasti Dip, which is like a rubbery coating, which gives the hand a better grip. And it connects up to LabVIEW software through a National Instruments data acquisition device, just as before. Through electrodes that are placed on the front and back of my forearm, I can control the hand. So if I move my wrist downwards, the hand will close, and if I flex my wrist upwards, then the hand will open. Now the muscles that I'm using here are typically ones that would remain in somebody's forearm even after their hand had been amputated. Now I've also been working on the software that controls the hand. So here you can see that now the fingers are moving more slowly and more gently to begin with, which means that you can grasp gentle things you can do more fine movements uh, without necessarily moving all of the fingers. Previously, the hand would have tried to close too firmly and it wouldn't have been able to grip things like the pen and the SD card. But it can still grasp larger objects like the screwdriver very easily with a firm grip as well. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned to the YouTube channel for more videos and keep an eye out for the crowdfunding campaign shortly.